one of the um, the problems of working um, on a high pressure project is having some other aspect of your life to balance a date. And in my case, um, I had met Morris Dancing back in the early 50s and had joined the, the team at the RAE, which formed in 1954. And I'd got myself quite interested in it as a, a research topic as well. And collected together um, notations of dancers and information about old team and things like that. Um, and that led me to visiting active sites all over the country. And the one which caused the most amusement was um, I went to see a team called Barley Morris who danced at Dudley in the Birmingham area. And they had been, the, the couple we went to stay with had worked on the restoration of the Dudley Birmingham Canal tunnel and so on. And we went out with them on a Saturday into the town centre to dance. I then saw the Dudley, saw the Barley Morris in their kit, which had a large CND badge on the front. So I thought, oh my God. <clears throat> then they started um, to dance in the main square in front of a large crowd. And the police inspector came up and said, not Morris dancers as well, bugger off into the uh, shopping mall. And I realised we were part of what was a CND demonstration going on. So we went into the uh, shopping mall and had a, a very good show and brought in some young men to dance and decide who had never danced in a, in a team with women and were a bit surprised how strongly the women could hit them with sticks. <laughs> but <clears throat> it wasn't till afterwards when the security officer came back to me at RE and said, you're on this film of this demonstration, CND demonstration. What the hell were you doing there? And I said, well, it came as a surprise to me as well. <laughs>